and welcome to the episode 321 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today we'll talk about several live gigs, the Beatles' 50th appearance on media, and the conclusion of the work on the Magical Mystery Tour EP. On the 17th of November 1960, the Beatles, in their quintet lineup featuring Pete Best on drums, George Harrison, John Lennon and Paul McCartney on guitar and voice, and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, performed at the Kaiser Keller in Hamburg, West Germany, for their ongoing residency in town. One year later, in 1961, the Beatles played a lunchtime gig at the Cavern Club in Liverpool, and then at another event organised by Mona Best at the Village Hall in Naughty Ash. By this time, Sutcliffe had long left the band, and Paul McCartney had switched the bass to take his place, with the band becoming a quartet. Another concert in 1962, the first one after the Fabs, now in their definitive lineup with Ringo Starr on drums, had completed their second residency in Hamburg in less than a year. For the occasion, the Beatles played the Matrix Hall in Coventry, and, well, they weren't that fabulous at all. Only 80 people turned up, and the concert was so bad that despite incorrectly recalling the venue as the Montfort in Leicester, Paul McCartney mentioned it to John Lennon seven years later, in 1969, as the worst first night ever. Check it out, people, it's both in the Letty B film and in the Beatles Get Back documentary. Another thing you should check out is the list of things you can do to help me to produce more and better music-related content. It's at www.simonmas.com support, you cannot miss it. Thank you for being fab! One final live show on the 17th of November 1963. The Beatles played the Coventry Theatre in Coventry for the continuation of their autumn tour. Let's switch gear and move to the non-live part of the show. On the 17th of November 1964, the Beatles were at the Playhouse Theatre in London, between 7.30 and 11.30 pm. They were to tape their appearance on the 26th of November Top Gear BBC radio show, aired between 10 am and midnight. The occasion, with the band performing I'm a Loser, Honey Don't, She's a Woman, Everybody's Trying to Be My Baby, I'll Follow the Sun and I Feel Fine, and giving an interview to show host Brian Matthew, marked the 50th music programme contribution by the Beatles since their first ever appearance on the 7th of March 1962. Check out episode 66 for more information on that. Finally, in 1967, while the editing of the Magical Mystery Tour film went on at Norman's Film Productions, the Beatles had a last-minute session in Abbey Road for an extra retouch on the first half of the stereo mix of I Am The Warus. The matter was completed between 10 am and 1.15 pm. At the same time, Beatles assistant Neil Aspinall flew from London to New York City with copies of the different promo clips for Hello Goodbye. Ed Sullivan was the first to broadcast one, on the 26th of November between 8 and 9 pm Eastern Standard Time. Why? This concludes the episode. Tomorrow, the Beatles will get their first two silver discs of their career. Spoiler alert! They won't be their last. Join me to learn more. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas! Music you love